This is a HeadGum Original. And I'm not even really that sick. I just feel really run down in recovering. And it's just like, it's so fucked up that we can never just take a week off of this bullshit. Yeah. I don't want to perform right now. I'm in a grumpy mood. You got to save this our the ass, show? Michelle. What's that? Is, is this already the show? No, we haven't started because okay. look at Marika. Marika's not, she's ill prepared and she's ill at ease. And I'm, I'm recovering I from being I said I was Ill. recording a minute ago. <laughs> Fine. Oh, then yes, this is the show. <laughs> then this is the show. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is the Headgum Podcast. <laughs> what? Of course they're just tuning in. The show just started. <laughs> all right, all right. Casey's picking up the energy. I don't necessarily have it today. Let's just say that. Marika, what's wrong? Marika, what are you eating? Come back to me. Marika's eating. Um, Sushi. What? Sushi? It's 2.15. Our lunch arrived as this started. <laughs> From you where guys Joel ordered, in the office? What's that? You guys ordered sushi as a company oh. for lunch? Who's yeah, that? come on in. Yeah. Who's this guy? Oh. Come on in. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's our comes tech a company guy. boss. And Here his comes fleece. a guy. Oh, I think I need to turn on that mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We All right, yeah. Hold, yeah. <laughs> um, well, as she gets up, we should introduce uh, making her... Headgum podcast debut, <laughs> Rochelle. Yes. Rochelle. Woo. Yes. Um, also, are my levels okay? Now they're better. You have a flat ass. Has anyone ever told you that? Uh, no. But nobody's <laughs> ever said that I had, like, nice round ass. Yeah. Just um, for my ass. Does that make sense? Have we started? Yes. But <laughs> we started, but show. that wasn't. I don't think housing that was fish. On. <laughs> What's that? I don't think that was on, on camera record. Mic. Did we just stop and start again? Yeah, uh, I had to stop I, and start to right arm the mic. Pass. Yeah, then... for sure. Um, <laughs> I don't have headphones, so I can't hear what Marika's saying. There's no so, headphones <laughs> over there? Oh, my God. <laughs> they could be on a hook behind you. Uh, so more than me. This is a great episode. <laughs> and I knew this would happen. You know, sometimes um, they are. Sometimes you wake up feeling dangerous. Sometimes you wake up feeling <laughs> sort of pathetic. Like, the, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rochelle, how, how does it feel? Which one did you wake up? <sighs> dangerous. As? Which oh. is pathetic. <laughs> Which is pathetic because it's just this. Uh, Rochelle, right. do, do you want to introduce yourself, what you do at the network, um, how you're feeling today, and maybe, yeah, like. That's enough for, for her. That's enough for now. Get started, right, yeah. We'll get you don't started need to throw here. so many questions at her <laughs> at the top. Like, what's, yeah, what's your immigration status? <laughs> Pending. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm a U.S. citizen. Okay. That's good to hear. Enough. Sorry. <laughs> and what's your let's do social security number let's just do uh, just one what her digit. role is at the company first. what's your role here at the company i don't know do you do you guys know yeah you're a you're a producer or engineer i'm a producer and engineer yeah that's cool i'll speak for rochelle for what shows case uh xoxo gossip kings mm -hmm. and the basketball podcast the good one yeah yeah it's about there's basketball a couple, it's a, there's a couple of basketball <laughs> no i meant good one here with uh jesse david ferguson or <laughs> jesse, david, <laughs> jesse david fox fox yeah <laughs> jesse david ferguson <laughs> um are you excited nervous i feel like you were forced to do this i'm a little scared yeah um and anya said she was going to be here to protect me but she's not here she did say that yeah anya i feel like my bad habits are rubbing off on anya like promising one thing in and what way delivering in what way is that what you said yeah just like yeah over promising under delivering <laughs> what uh rochelle you produced and engineered the last episode of if i were you yeah the, the very last one Did, but you didn't know it was the last one no, until like no we one told me that roll. yeah you were just like i'm gonna show up and help record 
and <laughs>
I'm having a great time. I just wanted to comment that Jeff has really taken to the phrase nothing burger. Mm. Yeah. And I don't really know what the origin is. You started saying it, and I think it's funny. What is a nothing burger? But it's like a basketball thing. Well, basketball is like he scored a 50 burger, like when he has 50 points. But nothing burger is like when you just basically add burger to a, a quantity is like a thing. But I didn't think nothing burger is specifically a basketball reference. Like this whole this whole trial is a nothing burger, basically. Did you say podcast? No. Because that's actually the word of the day. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this show about? Thank God. <laughs> this is what exactly. Is this show You're about? getting it. <laughs> that was that's a serious cool. question. No, yeah, that's correct. No, no, that, right that's valid, that. valid. Yeah. Moving right on. <laughs> Discuss. Do you feel young? Uh, these days, not really. My body's hurting. I'm gonna go with no. My bones are aching. So Casey's bones are aching. Marika just said it flat out no. You're 40, bud. <laughs> so y I think you don't uh, feel young. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel old. I just feel like, I feel like I'm, yeah, my age. So, you know, bumps and bruises, trying to maximize sleep, health, food, um, thinking about mortality more than I was at age 20, sure, but I wouldn't say I feel old. But, yeah, I don't feel young either. Do you fear death? No, I don't really fear death. It's so far away yeah. that I, I'm more concerned with more, well, like, uh, current problems. If I was you, c c well, now that you don't have the show anymore, I'll just say if I were you, I'd be, I'd be fearing finishing <laughs> out my mortgage. Meaning? Paying it off. Because well. that means I'll have lived in that house for 30 years. <laughs> that house, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine, yeah, but you want to, like, your house should be an expression of your personality. Yeah. And it, yours is kind of like a white box. Not really. Really? <laughs> well, because you have that nice patio. <laughs> you have the carport. Rochelle. <laughs> I was at Rochelle's house this weekend. Oh, really? Rochelle, would you say that your house is an expression of your personality? Maybe the inside. Yeah. I don't know about the outside. But yours is a rental, we should say. Yes. So well, you don't have LA. One second. Because you don't have a, you don't have control over the outside. You only have control over the inside, on which you put your mark, your stamp. I guess so. I, I guess I could I could do something. Could, what did you think about the outside of my house? Yeah, I didn't really see the inside. Um, Rochelle had a birthday party. This Whoa! Week. Oh yes. Speaking of getting older, <laughs> do you feel parties? young? Um, no. When's your birthday? April thirtieth. And then I hit the big 3 0. Whoa, That's 30 fun. on 30. 30 on 30. Holy smokes. Rochelle had a bunch of fun decorations about being old now, which uh, was kind of insulting as someone older than 30. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was like, well, mm. come on. Like, oh, she has like, a point. oh my <laughs> God, I'm 30 now. And I'm like, yeah. Marika and I think she has a point. What? Because we're both of us are not 30. Really? Yeah. How old yeah. are you guys? I'm Marika's 40. 29. Yeah. I'm 28, actually. Soon to be 29, we should say. Yeah, like in half a year. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, Marika's 28 and a half. This show is... A nothing burger. A nothing burger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm 25. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's Eight shocking to hear every time. Nobody asks, but I yeah. feel young. I We don't seem like we're 15 years apart, right? Rochelle, would you guess? Are you that trying I'm to say that you seem younger? I think I'm a little. I feel a little bit younger, and you feel a little bit older. So we're both like 29. No, I would say like I'm 38 ish, and you're sort of 28 ish. <laughs> but you're still. That means you're All still right. older than him. Yeah, and still older. Yeah, still 10 years apart. Still 10 years apart, but 15 feels. Like so. <laughs> would you have guessed 15 years apart? Uh, the only that gives it away is the the silver in your hair. Gray hair. But I feel like. Now Rochelle's Soul getting it. That we, <laughs> you gotta be a little callous to Amir. Not really. I think it's great. I think the it's great. great. Yeah. That's it's good. Yeah. I wanna be salt and pepper <laughs> when I'm older. I think it's sort of a, what's that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Discuss. 
What do you guys think Landon Donovan is doing right now? The soccer player? <laughs> the what? The soccer player? Yes, the Go soccer commercial. player. <laughs> what? <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, how often is it that you get caught up in what others need from you, right? Rather than what you need from you, all right? It's hard because it's so easy to spend all your time giving and it can leave you feeling stretched thin and burnt out, right? That's where therapy can come in because therapy gives you the tools to find more balance in your life, right? So you can keep supporting others while also supporting yourself and not leaving yourself behind. Again, guys, I'm in therapy every week. I had therapy today and uh, I'm soaring. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I finally had that hour to give to myself. And then now tonight, I'm all ready to go to go to the HeadGum Happy Hour at Dynasty Typewriter to give to others because, I mean, the joy, the wisdom that I spew is a gift. I don't know what else to say. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try because BetterHelp is entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash what's that to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash what's that. Thanks, BetterHelp. <laughs> Really quickly, can I ask if everyone else was also hearing um, Jeff's sound? Like Slack. Slack notifications. notification. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah hear someone that. Definitely. That's for sure. That's not on me. <laughs> this is the HeadGum sure. podcast. Who Slack Slack you? is coming from HeadGum. It sounded people. like a Slack, like a DM, so like yeah, not even in like a group channel. So Was Marty yeah. texting yeah. us about lunch? What was the no, was Slack message? Yeah, no, if it's, it's about lunch, we got to get on that. No, uh, Mike has been trying to slide into my DMs for like a year. Mike Hurwitz? Yeah. Why don't you just respond to him? Why? No, because then it validates him. You know, it's like when people, yeah. Hmm. Like, Marika, people probably slide into your DMs, right? Do you ever respond? You don't dignify On Slack? Respond. No, on Instagram. Hmm. Not that much. But you get headgum fans reaching out to you? Uh, I'd say like every once in a while, but I also am really bad about like checking the, the like ones Requests. that filter out. Sure. Yeah. Rochelle, do you want to plug your social media? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at yard underscore underscore sard. That's good. Yard sard. Is that your last name? Sard? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You think her first name was Yard? What the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rochelle Yard Sard. Uh, the strike is in full effect. What are we discussing? The WGA strike. Marika in full effect. Oh, the strike is in full effect. Why haven't we struck? Because Rochelle, how much, how, are you paid hourly or are you salaried? I'm paid hourly. So how much do you make an hour? You don't have to answer that. But also employee solidarity, because I might make less than you, and then I can use this as negotiation with his ass to get more. To get more for you, but not her? Well, if I make more, she could use that. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> you don't have to answer it. I mean, I, it's up to Amir, honestly. Me? How did I get involved <laughs> in this whole rigmarole? Uh, yeah, I also agree that you don't have to answer. Well, it's better for him if you don't answer. <laughs> Because he's the boss. <laughs> Marika? Thoughts on your what? salary? Amir's <laughs> never seen an invoice. Yeah. Marika's right. Oh, yeah. Does Amir, do you even know how much I get paid? Probably not. I don't no, think I don't. he does. Not if at I had all. to guess. Do you know Casey? Not at all. I think I do. Okay. 40. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anya's not here. Doesn't so matter. you're not protected. <laughs> and this is on her. I'm and protecting now I kind of want to come at you so that Anya feels guilty. I'm not going to. I'm protecting yeah. Rochelle. Casey hired me. I, yeah. I said we should hire Rochelle. You Did said you guys we'll know start you at 725 an hour. That's what, yes. Less That's than what I suggested. <laughs> uh, how do you guys know each other? Don't point like that. Sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't point like that. I think the first time we met officially was in a group chat game of survivor yeah oh good. wow yeah. and then i betrayed casey oh <gasps> yeah she 
dated my ex. Does that <laughs> the, on the, in the game of Survivor? Of Survivor <laughs> sure, yeah. How did how did the text game of Survivor? She won the game by the oh, way. Oh, really? She was. Is killer. it just like a group chat where Common like friends. somebody gets? Wait, Sorry, I second. have a question. Yeah. Common friends. Huh? How did you get thrown into a group chat text game of the show? Um, we were in a editing collective called Racer Trash. Yeah, Racer Trash. And then so we make video art. Speed Case or Trash. Yes. Exactly. And then who put you in a group text? Who put you in a group and text? Explain the game. Yeah. Um, our friend Dave Seeker. Yeah. Got it. I know Dave. Friends. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you do. I was thinking of yeah a different Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the a clothing Corey Seeger. Um, does Dave Seeger wear a Flieger? A what? <laughs> it's a type of pilot's watch. Flieger? Yeah. I don't think he wears Flieger. I do have a Seeger hat, and I've told him that he should get a Seeger hat himself. But or David. A David hat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he could alternate depending on if he's feeling his first name or his last name. A lot of people call him Seeger. Um, you guys must have been really trusting of Casey, because I didn't have any interviews when I <coughs> was hired here. You didn't do any interviews? Because no. some people I've heard have had to do four, which is way too many. I had to do three. I think but the difference is full time versus freelance employee. My final really? interview was with Danny and Angie, and I was confused why. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is we Angie like to do here like today? Is that Angie? There's somebody in the conference room with their back to the door. I think that's Alex. Berkman? <laughs> get her in here. <laughs> <laughs> She's here every day. We should try to get her on the uh, the one p.m. show. She, yeah, who's she, doing the next? Who's doing the next shift? I think it's you, <laughs> Marika, Allie. Allie, and I'm Alex. not doing the next one. What? <laughs> what? Not on my schedule. Erica. Erica's on that one. We're gonna try and get Berkman on, and then if you can, would really love to have you because I don't want it to be all Marika. Marika said she's not coming. You're confused. You don't want it to be all women. Yeah, what's and Amir's wrong supposed with that? to be on that one. No, I don't care about that. I just want a familiar face because otherwise it's mostly people who are never on the show. And Allie's I Allie's been on a lot. That's true. Allie could kind of hold it down. Also, it Amir is supposed to be on that one. That's why what I are was we saying. spending it this episode Amir. talking about the next episode? <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> We're always in pre-pro. <laughs> Here's a segment that I like to call um fuck. <laughs> This w was way shorter. That's a weird point for it to cut off. This is a segment I like to call So What? So these are <laughs> article headlines that shouldn't have been reported. Uh, the first one is, This golden statue was ridiculed when a local government erected it. Then gold prices skyrocketed. So what? So what? <laughs> so we all what? say in unison. Oh, I see. So like what? Like response thing. Yeah. West Hartford, Connecticut removes no trespassing signs in town That's center. That's I went to high school. Just days after installation. So, so what? So what? I actually, I care about that one. I went to high school there. <laughs> Wait, what's the actual, they removed a sign? <laughs> Marika, did you hear about that? <laughs> Is this news? I didn't hear about it. Marika, are you? It's news to me. Are you Gilmore Girls? <laughs> no. But you went to high school in Hartford. West Hartford. In West Hartford, born and educated. <laughs> On the playground is where I did all of my trespassing. What grades mm. were you in? And what when you grades did you get when you were in Hartford? Um, I was But in... we should say that, because for the viewer who just saw that, what she just kind of her little aside away from the mic. Rick is housing tuna right now with soy. <laughs> and so I think that that was I'm making sure that you don't spit soy sauce or wasabi onto the fucking Wow. Yeah. That She's looks fancy. Fucking oh, where's sushi. that from? That looks good. Straight sugar Bondi fish sushi. for lunch. She's going to fuck up um, some rice. Man, you were just like I, waiting for uh, I was actually kind of in every grade when I was in high school, which is normal sounding, but I um, skipped grades. So I, I started in ninth because my credits hadn't transferred. And then I, at the end of the year, I was in 10th. 
and then I started 11th, but graduated early. So I was also kind of in 12th. Wow. So, so I was there for two years. Would you, so you, you kind of finished like, high school in two years. Sorry. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> that is, you that finished is high school in two years. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically three. I was homeschooled for ninth grade. By who? And you were but homesick for your in... junior year. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who homeschooled you? My mother. And she just straight up was like, this is geometry. Here's U.S. history. Here's whatever. Um, I took, technically, well, I took geometry as like a, um, like an online course in uh -huh. three months. Actually, I, and I did that at, during the summer of eighth grade. Um, so that was a whole thing. But yeah, I did a lot of online courses for like individual subjects. And then I went to a nerd camp where I like took biology. Sorry, I was planning a needle lunch. <laughs> <laughs> is needle the new alms beat? It kind break, of is. Right I've only been there once. Oh, yeah. oh, God. We did a <laughs> the sax points anymore remember that the sax yeah i do that was the shit we should Ferris, bring it back we should but you know and you know whose fault it is grayson mm. rochelle would you say you're Fair. more or less confused about what this show is now that we're about half hour deep into an episode i think i'm the same amount of confused right well like, i'm glad it there's, no there's no clarity there's no clarity there's no fate <laughs> how can we <laughs> get yeah, advertise with fairity and now we don't <laughs> Do you need like take it up how, with yeah? Can you help or can, can I get a logline? Yeah, the, I mean the logline is that it's kind of a mess, but organized chaos seemingly. But the logline that I came so up with visual. is uh, it's forty five minutes of pop culture, pop, pop culture discussion, mean spirited g games and quizzes, <laughs> and gotcha journalism. Are the stutters <laughs> part of the description? <laughs> when you read it on the website, yes. there are going to be stutters yeah. written in. <laughs> Let me tell you something about my email inbox. I so I got spam bombed this week, right? And oh, yeah. Yeah, and so what happened was I get an email saying your new American Express gold card is in the mail and it's being shipped to a zip code that I don't live in. And I'm like, "Okay, that's weird. I don't know there's th maybe this is just like a fake email." And if I click on it and try and give them any of my information, then actually the fraud will happen. Uh around this email though, I get like 8 hundred spam emails of people a bot that had signed me up for every fucking service email list newsletter imaginable and so i'm fucking having to click unsubscribe report spam for all of them but i'm like it, it eventually calmed down this was on friday afternoon monday morning rolls around your card is out for delivery another spam bomb monday afternoon your card has been delivered and activated Holy shit, there's somebody with a card with ca seemingly carte blanche access because, by the way, Amex doesn't have a credit limit, right? And that's how you get in the real trouble. Um, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> really? Amex doesn't have a credit limit? I'm almost positive, yeah. There's for no a way. gold card? Maybe I for don't a know. black card. What, like you can literally buy a $700,000 car with a I didn't think card. it had a cre credit limit. I had to call Amex and report the fraud. Uh -huh. They were very kind. They were very nice. They were Richard kind at a certain point. Because <laughs> they were like, let me tell you about your card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not a great Richard kind. <clears throat> Can you just be a little more Richard? <laughs> As in a little kinder to my dumbass. So mm. I unsubscribed and reported spam for like over a thousand emails over the past week. And... Some of them are still trickling in, though. One of them being Fleurity, <laughs> which is sort of like Fairity, but I think it's period underwear. Why don't we advertise with them? Flority? Uh, Florvy? Flority. Flority? Like, like Florida like meets Fairity. Yeah. Flority. Yeah. So I was right. It is menstrual underwear. And I do think people could maybe use this. Wait, no, it's actually, a, it, no, it's the cup. But it looks like it's not even in English. It might not be an American company. Well, we have listeners across the globe. Um, 
here we go. Welcome to Goat or Quote. Goat or Quote? Goat or Quote. Okay. Have you guys, why do you seem, were you like, you're put out by the whole episode. Just keep going. <laughs> Are you comfortable, Marika? Do you have enough soy? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys heard about this Ed Sheeran thing, right? No. No. What do you no. mean no? No, I don't follow Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I don't either, but it was all over the news, right? It actually mattered not just for Ed, but actually for music in general, the future of it, etc. What happened? Am I boring you? No, just say what fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> we all said we didn't know. Explain it. Ed Sheeran had been a part of a lawsuit for years about... If he, but from the the state of Marvin Gaye, saying that he stole uh, "Let's Get It On" with his song "Thinking Out Loud." Um, I don't know. So, I don't know any Ed Sheeran songs. All right, you know "Thinking Out Loud." You know "Thinking Out." Probably like, do. Oh. Not helpful. I thought that was Ariana up to my beating heart. I'm thinking how uh, uh, we just fall in love in mysterious no, no, no. ways. I don't listen to the radio. Actually, pretty good. I don't listen to the radio. Maybe just the drop of thing. your hat. We don't fall in love in every single way. Maybe I just I tell you I am thinking you still don't know how. No. Keep going. Thinking into your loving heart. Yes, and I did the heart of a thousand stars. So no. darling. It's not ringing a bell. Suit out in my <laughs> oh, The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Goat or quote? I want to know your guys' opinions. We're going to play these songs back to back, and I want to know if you think Ed Sheeran plagiarized Marvin Gaye. Right? Okay. okay. The, the lawsuit did finish up with the jury saying he didn't. But I don't know. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. So this is the original. This is Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling. So that's, that's Marvin Gaye, and this is Ed Sheeran. Take me to your fucking arms. No, this is not. Sorry, that was the TikTok version. Um, here, here I, here's a video that's just both of them back to back. Darling, I will be loving you okay. till we're 70. Let's get it on. Ah! Yeah. Cop like, a, not, like even not even close. Yeah. They sued him because of the tempo or something? Here's the thing. The chord progression is the exact same, I think, but it also, I think, is up an octave or something. And you, we've, there have already been rulings that you can't, copyright a chord progression yeah right? there's only so like, many mm -hmm. octaves yeah 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 i've heard songs sound a lot more similar than those two yeah copyright protection comes down to what's in the sheet music okay what See, is what did you think of my version versus the edge like when you heard the ed sheeran song you're like oh now i, get I like what yours better right was it there was yeah, more character too. to your voice as in it sounded worse but mm -hmm. but like in more a charming attainable. way yeah, yeah exactly. more attainable for Natural. sure yeah are you looking at the menu again, or are you looking at the... Yeah, what do you guys want from Needle? Do you want the churn fun? The what? The churn fun. <laughs> <laughs> Have you eaten at Needle? No. It's good. I, I've i been saying I, we should went. go there. Yeah, I went once. Have but... you guys had the salted yolk French toast? This looks like a heart attack. Right, yeah, that one looks a little heavy, but it, it also probably tastes delicious. That's true. That's true. Good food. Is that the end of the segment? <laughs> that is the end of the segment. Quote or goat? Yeah, that's how long have we been going? <laughs> that that title that title didn't make any sense. <laughs> goat or yeah. quote? Is it the greatest of all time, or is it a quote of the greatest of all time? <laughs> you only explained the situation with the. the so you're trial. saying we should vote on if it we was don't goat play or a quote. game? I didn't say it was a game. We don't play it was a game. segment. <laughs> I'm I'm so sick of, of doing games on this show. It was less of a segment and more of an anecdote, really. You guys don't yeah. fucking appreciate it when I put a ton of work. I this is something I've noticed in outlining this shit. When I put a ton of effort into it, it they don't go well. Oh, we you guys, like Jeopardy. Jeopardy's pretty good. Jeopardy's great. Yes, but you have to be sparing with Jeopardy. Jeopardy's yeah, like Jeopardy, but it's all like wrong answers. 
kind of fun, right? <laughs> would you say it's better than Jeff explaining a lawsuit and then telling us not to worry about it? I would have to play Jeopardy to make that call. Well, I, we, I don't have a Jeopardy prepared. I'm saving it for our potential tour, which, by the way, no word from Katie on that. Katie was like, I'm going to check the budget. No, she didn't. It's been a month since that happened. And oh. Amir brought it up the other day. And he, oh, look, Faraday. <laughs> I like the idea of doing a show in the woods. That's what I was saying. I said this on the live stream last night. Literally. Outdoors? It, West yeah. Coast tour, right? We're going to do LA, Big Sur, San Francisco, Portland. <laughs> what, Marika? And then the no, Big Sur one is called. It's yes. funny. And then I'm exactly right. And this, guess what? It's a comedy show. <laughs> So, Rochelle, this is the idea, right? It's called, the episode would, would be called If a Tree Falls. And it would be a last minute secret show that we announced day of at the Henry Miller Library <laughs> stage. It's in not the woods. secret anymore, yeah. right? You're well, explaining the whole Well, they're not the going to know concept. when it is. They're not going to know when it is. And the, you want some people there, right? So, if we go ahead and we're like, okay, we're going to do a tour in August, right? We're going to do a tour in September or something. The LA show is on August 17th, right? And then our San Francisco show isn't until August 20th. People can infer that the fucking If a Tree Falls episode is going to be somewhere in between there, right? And so some people, especially <laughs> Bay Area people... Camping might... out at a library for days. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we should you press do the a wrong four button on that day one? tour. And if I'm wrong for that... What's that? Keep going. You interrupted. <laughs> And I'm not even talking to Casey. I'm talking to Marika. <laughs> I do shit. Two dates. That's all I need to it revamp to. this whole Shabazz. It has to be profitable. We can't just go to the middle of the woods and lose money. Nobody Which is why Katie has to check the budget. <laughs> really? Because it'll cost us money. Well, what if the episode does so well online? Most of these episodes do the same regardless of who's on them or where they were recorded. So you can't say, oh, this episode will be exceptionally well attended or whatever. Really? And we also we can't sell ads. ads. Yeah, knowing that there will be a bump in traffic for that particular episode. Well, the only way to balance it out would be ticket sales. Right. And you right. want to do it in the middle of fucking nowhere so nobody will come. <laughs> and you don't want to even tell people when it is. But if we do a live show from Carmel by the Sea. That's the oh, same that's area. Beautiful. That's the same area. We're going to lose money on that because any venue there is going to take like 20%. The Henry Miller Library, and I Big already Sir talked to them. is better? I already talked to them in person. I talked to the owner of the library. I was like, do you guys do shows here? They said, yes. I said, I do a podcast called The Headgum Podcast. Could we do it here for free? He said, yes. As long as people buy books. For free means no... I mean, it's a library where they're selling books. It's a cool library. I've been there. It's yeah. like it's not like a library in the sense that you're thinking. It's more like it's a bookstore. A bookstore in the woods. <laughs> Two book minimum. Mm -hmm. Rochelle, have you ever been to the Henry Miller Library? I so have. we're not making money. Rochelle's on been there. I've been clear. there. Should we do a like podcast here? Money. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I have an idea. Oh. Cause paper no. What's the idea? Uh, it's okay. It's too late. It's too late now. Great. I want to play your little jingle, fucking, your little fucking TikTok sound. Cancer. I'm sensing like animosity, and I want to know who the headgum rivals are. Oh, interesting. Of the it's kind of everyone versus me. Casey <laughs> and Amir haven't said anything at, like, towards each other. But or it's also them. kind of you versus Amir. Yeah. How long did that survival game take over text? Was it like a one night affair, or like a multi week battle? Multi week. And then multi -week. do you think Landon Donovan still lives in LA? The soccer player? Yeah. I don't know. He lived in LA at all. Well, he played for the Galaxy, so you could have inferred. But the Galaxy doesn't really play in LA. Like, doesn't LAFC play like in LA proper? Bye. <laughs> it's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> So no plug, no anything. A hard out. <laughs> oh my god.
was a HeadGum original.